Hello parents, hello children. I've got another great um, activity that I need to present to you. And this one is the subtraction presentation. Subtraction presentation. Let me introduce the items that I have. Over here I've got two, I've got three containers. Two identical containers, one different one. I've got the stones, because we're going to use six, the number six. Then I've got the subtraction sign and the equals sign. And over here on my left hand side, I've got the equations. And we're going to use the number six to subtract. And over here on my right hand side, we've got the answers. So the reason why this container is here is to isolate what we're going to take away from this container. So let me start presenting. So over here we've got six stones, six stones. And I'll take my first equation. The first equation says six take away zero. So I'm going to take six take away zero from this container. So six take away zero equals two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six take away zero equals two, six. I will take my answer, which is six over here, and place it next to the equation. And we have to take back the stones. They always have to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take the next equation. Six, take away one. So my six stones here, I take one away and put it in this one. How many are remaining in this? One, two, three, four, five. For six, take away one equals two, five. So there are five stones here. I have to look for five and I put it next to my equation. That's the answer. Always take back the stones. One, two three four five six let's take the next equation it says six take away two so my six stones i take away two one two how many are left in here let's count them one two three four so we have four in this container. Let's see the answer. Where is four? There is four. So six take away two equals to four. We put our equation here. The answer there. Let's take back the six stones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put back the six. Let's get the next equation. It says... 6 take away 3 equal to, let's see, let's take away 3, 1, 2, 3. How many are remaining? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3. So 6 take away 3 equals to 3. There are 1, 2, 3. Let's take 3. The answer is 3. And put it next to, and put it next to the rest of the equations and the answers. Remember to always take back the stones, the six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get the next equation. Next equation says six take away four equals to six take away the amount that is four equals to, let me count, take, the, take away four, one, two, three, Four. How many are left here? Two. So we put one, two. So six take away four equals to two. Let's get the number. The answer is two. Six take away four equals two. Put it over here. Remember to take back the stones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get the next equation. 6 take away 5 equal to 
Let's check here. There are six to take away. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six take away five equals two. One. So there is one there. So let's get the answer and put it next to the equation and choose one. So six take away five equals to one. Put them there. There we go. So we take back the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is how you do the subtraction using this method. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, parents, it will be good to practice with the kids. You can write down all the equations on paper and the answers and the symbols or the signs, the minus and the equals, and get three containers and the one which will isolate the ones that you're going to take away. I hope you enjoy this presentation of subtraction. Thank you.